Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Hello, Fernandino Teens! Good morning! Welcome to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. I am Mom Jules, your TLE Cookery teacher for today's episode. Join me as we discover more concepts and skills in today's lesson. For today's learning episode, you are expected to First, discuss sandwiches. Second, identify ingredients used for sandwiches. Third, enumerate the bread suited for sandwich preparation. And lastly, classify the different types of sandwiches. Before we move on to our lesson proper, let us have first this very simple game. Guess what? Are you familiar with this game? Wow! I'm glad that many of you know this game. I will show partly covered pictures. Then, you will guess the picture that is being illustrated by typing your answer on the comment box below. Are you ready, Fernandino teens? Picture number one. Can you figure out what the picture is? Hint. It's popular in some fast food. You 
got it right. Hamburger. How about picture number two? This sandwich is most children's favorite. Great! It's hot dog sandwich. Picture number three. An Arabian sandwich, which is also popular now in our country. Amazing! It's shawarma. I guess you have now ideas in mind about the course of today's discussion. Yes, you got it right. It's all about sandwiches. But before we start, allow me to give you a trivia first. Do you know who made the sandwich popular? Fernandino teens, listen and watch carefully as I share this trivia about the origin and popularity of sandwiches. The sandwich, as we know, was popularized in England in 1762 by John Montagu, the Port Earl of Sandwich. During a particularly long binge, he asked the house cook to bring him meat tucked between two pieces of bread so he could eat without getting up from his seat. And the sandwich was born. And now, it is referred to us as sandwiches. Sandwiches refer to a food item made with two or more slices of bread with fillings between them. A widely popular and convenient lunchtime food, quickly made and served, and adaptable to many variations that satisfies nearly every taste and nutrition requirement. Sandwiches are made with the following ingredients. First, breads. Good quality breads provide variety, texture, taste, bulk, nutrients, and I appeal to sandwiches. Fresh bread is easier to slice or cut if it is has been chilled. Second is meat. Meat can be beef pork, and sausage products like ham, bacon, roast beef, and salami. Meat used as filling should be cooked, covered, and refrigerated. Thinly sliced meat is more tender and juicier than thickly sliced. Third is poultry. These are chicken or turkey breasts characterized by delicate golden brown surfaces. Aside from being rich in protein, poultry meat is a good source of phosphorus and other minerals, and of B-complex vitamins. It contains less fat than most cuts of beef and pork. Fourth, fish and shellfish. Some popular seafood ingredients are tuna, sardines, grilled and fried fish fillet, crab meat, and shrimp, which are highly perishable and should be kept chilled to maintain quality. Fifth, cheese. Most popular sandwich cheeses are cheddar, processed, cream cheese, and cheese spreads. Most are easily sliced, firm textures, and acts as a binder, moistener of other ingredients. It should be refrigerated and remain covered until ready to serve to avoid drying out. Sixth, spreads. Spreads like mayonnaise, mustard, and butter moisten the bread and complement the flavors of other ingredients. They should be served immediately and kept refrigerated to preserve its color and flavor. Seventh, condiments. 
condiments like olive oil, relishes, and chutneys. Chutneys give a lip to a sandwich. Some of them are high in acid, so don't confine them with strong flavored condiments. 8. Vegetables Vegetables should be crisp and proportioned to the size of sandwich. Lettuce, tomatoes, and onions are indispensable in sandwich making. Any vegetable used in salads may also be used in sandwiches. Vegetables add texture, flavor, and color to the sandwich. And the last among the ingredients are known as miscellaneous. These are fruits, fresh or dried, jelly, jam, peanut butter, eggs, and nuts. They add flavor, color, nutrients, and texture to sandwich production. There you have it all, Fernandino Tins, the ingredients used for sandwiches. Remember, my dear students, that good, fresh, and high-quality ingredients yield better flavor. We now move on to the next activity about sandwich ingredients. Your task is just simply click thumbs up if you agree with the statement and thumbs down if you don't. You can place your response in the comment box below or write it on a piece of paper. Are you ready, Fernandino Teens? First statement. Spreads like mayonnaise, mustard, and butter moisten the bread and complement the flavors of other ingredients. Thumbs up or thumbs down? If you click thumbs up, you get it right! Second statement. Lettuce, tomatoes, and onions are indispensable in sandwich preparations. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? That's fantastic! It's thumbs up! Third statement, examples of condiments are fruits, fresh or dried, jelly, jam, peanut butter, eggs, and nuts. Thumbs up or thumbs down? That's right, it's thumbs down. Because fresh fruits or dried, jelly, jam, peanut butter, eggs, and nuts are under miscellaneous ingredients. Fourth statement, some popular seafood ingredients are tuna, sardines, grilled and fried fish fillet, crab meat, and shrimp, which are highly perishable and should be kept chilled to maintain quality. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Great! It's thumbs up! Fifth statement, poultry can be beef pork, and sausage products like ham, bacon, roast beef, and salami. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, you are right. It's thumbs down because beef, pork, and sausage products like ham, roast beef, and salami are meat ingredients. Last statement. Breads provide variety, texture, taste, bulk, nutrients, and I appeal to sandwiches. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up! Great! Did you get all the correct answers? A splendid job, Fernandino Tins! More exciting discussion and fun activities about sandwiches when Fernandino Tins TV Season 2 returns. Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. 
inilunsadang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbi rin daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Trinandino Teens TV We are back, Fernandino Teens. Earlier, I presented to you the ingredients of sandwiches. And now, I am going to discuss bread suited for sandwich making. Here are the different types of bread. First, we have yeast bread or loaf bread. It is the most commonly used bread for sandwiches. And under yeast bread, we have white bread. These are long rectangular loaves that provide square slices. Also, one of the most versatile sandwich breads, which comes in various flavors and goes well with everything and can be toasted easily. Popularly known as pan or tasty among Pampangueños. We have also Cool wheat bread is a classic bread for sandwiches. It is nutritionally superior to white bread, tastes better, and has more interesting textures. Also, it's slightly more compact and brownish in color. And last under yeast bread is rye bread. A stronger tasting bread than white bread and whole wheat a heavy and hearty flavor bread that goes with so many types of meat and condiments. Second type of breads are buns and rolls. And under buns and rolls, we have sandwich rolls, which comes in all sizes, shapes, and textures. The softest includes hamburger buns and hot dog rolls. Next is France and Italian bread. These are rolls, including sourdough and shibata, split horizontally. It works well for grilled sandwiches. Next type are flatbreads. These are made from flattened, open, unleavened breads. The different kinds of flatbreads are first is Pita, which comes in both white and whole wheat. As the flatbread bakes, it pops up, forming a packet that is perfect for stuffing. Second is focaccia. These are flat Italian bread and called the casino pizza, an inch or more thick and very rich in olive oil. It is sold full and cut into squares, split, and filled. Third is lavash. These are small and rectangular flatbreads. When softened in water, can be rolled around a stopping to make a pinwheel shaped sandwich. And lastly is tortillas. These are unleavened round cornmeal breads baked on a hot stove. Their sizes may range from 6 to 14 inches or larger. 
which are preferably used for quesadillas and burritos. Another type of breads are wraps. These are very thin flat breads that are used for sandwich wraps, burritos, and tacos. And under wraps, we have tortillas. Corn or flour are unleavened round cornmeal breads baked on a hot stone. They range in size from 6 to 14 inches or larger and preferably used for quesadillas and burritos. Sandwich wraps, either whole wheat or spinach flavor. And the last among the types are quick breads. These breads are raised by chemical action of baking powder or baking soda, like biscuits, banana bread, carrot bread, and generally more tender and crumbly than yeast bread. They are used for sweeter tasting sandwiches and are best for these sandwiches. Do you now know all the types of bread? Sharp thinking! Let's see how well you comprehend on our lesson by answering the following questions. Your responses can be typed in the comment box below. Fernandino Tins, are you ready? Let's get started. Comprehension check question number one. Which of the types of bread is the most commonly used for sandwiches? Yes, it's yeast bread or dough bread. Next, question number two. What types of bread are known as sandwich rolls, France and Italian bread? Correct, they belong to buns and rolls. Question number three. How are quick breads raised? Terrific! They are raised by the chemical action of baking powder or baking soda. Question number four. What is bread is known as classic bread for sandwiches and is nutritionally superior to white bread? Full wheat bread. Amazing! Last question. What types of bread do pita, focaccia, lavash, and tortillas belong to? Fantastic! They are under flat breads. Were you able to get all the correct answers? Great going! Thank you for participating in our activity, Fernandino Tids. Job well done! This time, let us proceed on the different types of sandwiches. Are you excited to know more about sandwiches? Sandwiches are classified as cold and hot. Let us discuss first the different types of cold sandwiches. Here are the different cold sandwiches. First, we have open face sandwiches. Open face sandwiches make use of one kind of bread with the filling on top. The slices of white bread can be cut into squares, triangles, or rounds. Butter is spread slightly on top, and pieces of cheese or meat fillings are arranged and garnished attractively, like that to make use biscuits, cookies, or toast instead of using breads. Next is regular cold sandwiches. A plain sandwich is made up of two slices of bread, preferably day-old bread, toasted if desired, and on which butter can be readily spread. Each crust may or may not be removed, depending upon your preference. Butter, 
mayonnaise or a prepared sandwich spread may be used as lining to prevent the bread from absorbing moisture from the filling. Moreover, it ensures that the bread and the filling will stick together. We have also pinwheel sandwiches. Pinwheels are made of bread cut lengthwise, about 3 8 inch thick. Pressed cream bread is preferable because they are easy to roll and will not crack. Cream crust and flatten long slices with a rolling pin. Spread bread with softened butter or margarine and your choice of any smooth filling like cream cheese, marmalades, cheese pimiento, peanut butter, chams and jellies. Smooth filling is ideal for pinwheel sandwiches because they do not have bulk and can be spread thinly. Roll up bread like a cheddar roll. Next cold sandwich is tea sandwiches. Tea sandwiches are small fancy sandwiches made from light, delicate ingredients and bread that has been trimmed or crust. They may be made ahead of time and frozen. They are open cut into fancy shapes, squares, rectangles, and oblongs to add variety. Fillings and spreads can be the same as those for a canopy. We have also multi-decker sandwiches. These are made with more than two slices of bread and with several ingredients in the filling. The glove sandwich is a popular multi-decker sandwich made of three slices of toast and filled with sliced chicken, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and bacon, and cut into four triangles. And last type of cold sandwich is wrap or roll sandwiches. Wraps are sandwiches in which the fillings are wrapped, like a Mexican burrito, in a large flour of tortilla of similar flat bread. They may be served whole or cut in half if large. To sum up, the different types of cold sandwiches are open face sandwich, regular cold sandwich, pinwheel sandwich, tea sandwich, multi-decker or club sandwich, and rub or roll sandwich. Let us now continue with the different types of hot sandwiches. First, we have regular hot sandwiches. Simple hot sandwiches consist of hot fillings, usually meat but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables, or other hot items between two slices of bread. They may also contain items that are not hot, such as a slice of tomato or raw onion on a hamburger. Second is hot open face sandwich. Hot open face sandwiches are made by placing butter or unbuttered bread on bread on a serving plate. This sandwich is usually covered with hot meat or other filling and topping with a sauce, gravy, cheese, or other toppings. This type of sandwich is eaten with a knife and fork. Third hot sandwich is grilled sandwiches. Grilled sandwiches are also called toasted sandwiches. These are simple sandwiches that are buttered on the outside and browned on the griddle in a hot oven or in a panini grill. Sandwiches containing cheese are popular for grilling. Fourth is deep fried sandwiches. Deep fried sandwiches are made by dipping sandwiches in beaten egg and sometimes in breadcrumbs and then deep fried. And lastly, among the hot sandwiches are field rolls, focaccia, or pita bread. Flavored bread served with dips like quesadillas and burritos. My dear Fernandino teens, 
Were you able to understand all the types of hot and cold sandwiches? If your response is yes, kindly give me a heart emoticon through the comment box below. Oh, thank you very much. That's really outstanding. In addition, always remember that a good sandwich, whether hot or cold, should be served immediately, which makes the need for convenience food greater than ever. With that, I am pretty sure that you are all again ready for another activity. This time, you are going to classify the following sandwiches as hot or cold. You may type in your answer in the comment box below. First is Clubhouse Sandwich. Is it hot or cold? You got it right. It belongs to cold sandwich. Second is hamburger. Hot or cold? Good job. It's hot. Third is quesadillas. Yes, it's hot sandwich. is tea sandwich. Is it hot or cold? Cold sandwich. Very good. And last is pinwheel sandwich. Is it hot or cold? Great job! It's cold sandwich. Did you get a perfect score for that? Astonishing work, an indication that you are all watching and listening very well. Don't go away, Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 will be right back. Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month, na ating temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambena nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na ng syudad at ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport, api ning metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad ng pamanamuna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagelangan ding eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo ng kaya katamong heritage district. Ah, kaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At timong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balumin nga ni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ning COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko la ding bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, Kenny Shuda. Anya naman ka ring mumu ng 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Gawan nyo mo bakang ta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak, Ken. Nanano ko pa. Tara na! TV. You are
are still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. This time, I'd like to share some simple sandwich recipes and their ingredients with you. I'll be preparing one cold sandwich, a multi-decker or clubhouse sandwich, and one hot sandwich, a Monte Cristo sandwich. But before that, Fernandino teens, do not also forget the following safety rules in the kitchen. Wear a complete cooking outfit or PPE. Wash your hands before and after cooking. Do not play with sharp objects or utensils. Use pad holders in lifting hand utensils. Wipe spills immediately to avoid accidents. Let us now watch the videos I have prepared for you.
enjoy the simple presentations of hot and cold sandwiches? Perfect! I know you did! Aside from what you have just watched, what other ingredients can we use for the multi-decker or clubhouse sandwich? You absolutely figure it out! Yes! You can use bacon, pepperoni, salami, cucumber, and onion. And any loaf bread will do. How about the nutrients content? Bread has carbohydrates, which is an energy-giving food. An egg and ham have protein. And tomato has lycopene. Brilliant! Fernandino tins. Do you want some more? Well, we are going to have a break for a while. Stay tuned for when we come back, we are going to have the final activity. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagantabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng School supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade, at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede ring mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face 
kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede rin mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gaya ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib pwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back, Fernandino Teens. Are you ready for the final activity? Identify the ingredients used in preparing a burger. You may write your answers in the comment box below or write them on a sheet of paper. Are the correct answers. Bacon, pan, ketchup, cucumber, cheese, lettuce, spices, beef, Sesame seeds. Fernandino teams, were you able to get all the correct answers? What a great job! I hope you had a wonderful time with our entertaining lessons on sandwiches. Meanwhile, here are the references that were used for today's episode. This has been Ma'am Julieta M. Katangal, a cookery teacher from Home Economics Department. Thank you for watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Stay healthy and safe. Ang mga aral ay kinintuwang atin 
ng bawat buro na siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat.